Hi, it's time for Breed Shorts, and today I want to fire up the Rocket King XL again because I really feel like you didn't get a good taste of it in the last video since it was raining. When I put my cast iron pot on it and it was actually a little bit too small, it made me start thinking about a different kind of pot to be used on this stove. It still makes me smile when I see this massive stove compared to its counterparts there. I gotta walk. So this is the Mama Fong 14 inch hand hammered round bottom carbon steel wok. And you wanna use carbon steel if you're gonna use gas or an open fire like this. Not the uh, non-stick, that wouldn't be good. I love the look of this wok. Super simple, um, has the big fat wooden handle, which I really like. In fact, this thing was actually on sale when I bought it on Amazon and maybe it still is, so I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested in checking one of these out. But one thing I need to do first is actually season this wok. And I'm gonna try and do that right here on the rocket stove. The first step in seasoning the pan is to wash it, to remove the oils that protected it uh, from rusting in transit. And to season it, I'll be using some olive oil that'll apply with a paper towel. I thought about putting this stove up on Rocket Stove Row, but it would have been too tall. I wouldn't have been able to see down inside the pot that I was using. It's not so bad if I'm boiling water for eggs or something like that where I really don't need to see what's happening down inside the pot. But if I'm gonna be stirring a wok, I wanna see what's going on. So I grabbed a piece of concrete siding. I'm gonna set it down here. Make sure it's level and good and sturdy. This is actually cut out of hot rolled steel, which has got no real weather protection, unlike the stainless. So it's gonna weather, which I'm fine with. It, it's gonna be an outdoor piece of equipment. It was kind of just, for fun, but I am going to make these if people want them. I'll probably sell those on my website directly instead of selling them on Amazon. I'm actually gonna put the firebox space in this way so that I can sit on this side of the stove or stand and work on my cooking. That'll keep the heat, any heat pushing out this way will, won't be coming out on me. Take my smallest sticks and put them in over on this side. One thing that I found when I lit this the first time is that there's so much more air volume in here than my normal rocket stoves that took a little while to get the airflow going. I also have a theory that I should be able to scale the size of sticks and twigs that I use to the size of the stove. So we're on the smaller and regular stoves I'm doing this size up to the size of a pencil but I want to see if I can go up to this size on this stove which would be to scale what this would be on the small stoves So I'm actually gonna start this fire more log cabin style, like I did as a Boy Scout. This looks ready to light, but I actually need to have more wood on hand just because I wanna have everything I need for the whole burn before I get started. And actually what I'm gonna do is a quick seasoning of the pan then I'll let that fire go out and I'll prepare some vegetables for a quick stir fry and see how that goes. The Mama Fong page on Amazon actually had a how to season the wok video and I'm gonna follow those directions. I think that'll do.
the rain was so loud the last time I fired this I couldn't tell if it was rocketing or not so I started to hear a little rumble let's see if we can get more Fire's going nice and I can definitely hear a rumble in there. It makes me happy. Let's get the pan ready. I'm gonna give this thing a good coating of oil. I'm looking for color forming in the pan the oil starts to glaze over and I'm starting to see that I need to turn it so all areas of the pot get It almost seems counterintuitive to take a nice shiny pot like that and make it look like this. But this surface, this glazed oil, is what makes this wok non-stick. And eventually it will wear off um, through cooking, but you can simply just go through the seasoning process again. And I'm going to put one final coat on it while it cools down. And I'm going to go prep my veggies to stir fry. Here are the ingredients for my stir fry. I'm actually gonna reheat some chicken that was in the fridge, some red pepper and some white onion. I'm gonna be using olive oil, finishing it with some balsamic glaze, which makes everything taste like candy. Let me remind you right now that this is not a cooking channel. <laughs> but my goal with the rocket stoves, the grill, and this wok are to be able to help out more with cooking for my family. Here we go, wish me luck.
think I may have used too much oil. Does anybody want to verify that? Finish this off with a little balsamic glaze. I think it's done. All right, so this is a little light on ingredients. This is basically the stuff on the fridge that my wife would trust me to cook. <laughs> but you know what? I'm happy learning with the leftovers. Mm. Actually, that dressed up that old chicken very nicely. The flavors in roasted red peppers and onions are just amazing when they're cooked. All right. I'm happy with that. And I got to play with fire, which is even better. So I think I'm well on my way to being the sous chef on the back deck, which is, we'll call that my title. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. Okay, so what wok recipes would you recommend that I try on the Rocket King with the wok? Maybe we should call it the Wocket King. Oh. I can't help myself. If you knew my dad, you'd understand. Corny humor is just a Mills thing. Anyway, just a, a quick word of thanks to my patrons for helping make these videos possible. If you're interested, in a Rocket King XL, let me know in the comments below. If I get enough interest, I'll start making them. I do think it's a fun backyard device. It definitely uses more firewood than the small ones do, and so it's not quite as efficient with the burn. I went through a fair amount of wood in uh, the seasoning and the cooking process. But that's okay. All that wood is attrition wood that falls right out of this big oak tree right here whenever it, uh, it rains or we have wind. So I'm using that sustainable fuel right here in the backyard. And that's the main reason I'm talking about rocket stoves on a green channel. As always, my mission here on Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share. Keep all the great comments and suggestions coming, and we'll see you in the next video, most likely next Saturday.